But you also have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. You have choices. And the one thing that scares me to death in my life is getting to heaven and not being where I'm supposed to be. If your life is not the way it should be, then you should f***ing hate yourself right now. I don't blame you. You should. I wake up every morning. Espresso keep me going. I wake up every morning. Rise and shine. It's espresso time. My dad needs to rest his voice because he is making an audiobook. So I will be stepping in for this week. Yes. Let's start your day off right together. Grab your water and sip on today's message from David Goggins. Also, if you want to have more confidence, check out our 254 series. They're free. The link to join us is in the description below. You will never learn from people if we always tap dance around the truth. Everything I yeah. didn't want to do is what got me to where I'm at today. My purpose right now is to continue I used to have a wash rag when I did this. And you know how you take a shower, you have a wash rag and a cloth, and you, uh, you're sitting there and you're just lathering up. And before you hang your rag up, you want to get all the water to come on it and you know, get it all, all, that, all, you know, all the suds out of it. And you want to wring it out, and you want to hang it up. So my big thing is when I live my life, I want to make sure that when I'm dead and gone, that I wring that wash rag out, and that wash rag is my soul. And I also believe that we're going to end up one day meeting a maker if you believe in one. And I believe that maker knows everything about you. Everything about you. Knows I was going to be here and talking to you. Knows everything. But you also have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. We have choices. And the one thing that scares me to death in my life is getting to heaven and not being where I'm supposed to be. And I believe that God has a chart. And he looks at the chart. And he puts it in front of you when you get to heaven. He says, hey, this is what you're supposed to be. And one of my biggest fears in life was to see that chart and not have every block checked off. Mm. You know, I want to make sure that I'm constantly pursuing whatever it is I'm pursuing just to be the best. I can. Const just constantly grinding myself into a fine powder. Now I have a special bonus clip I hope you enjoy. But before that, it's time for the question of the day. How will you live to your potential today? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're still here, I want to celebrate you. Give me a believe in the comments below. If your life is not the way it should be, then you should f***ing hate yourself right now. I don't blame you. You should. The best way, but dude, I, I hated my sh before I loved my sh I hated myself so bad I couldn't look in the mirror. Jared told me the other day, he's like, you don't have a mirror in your bathroom. I can bring you in there right now. Sure, there's no mirror in there. Check this out. I said, dude, I don't need a mirror. I remember, you know what, that bathroom, I remember having an apartment where I couldn't put a mirror on the wall, broke it. I broke the mirror, look at that, right there, there ain't no mirror there. I told Jared yesterday, I said, dude, I don't have a mirror. I, I said, I, I don't care, I don't need to look at myself. I remember when I'd look at myself and I hated myself. Broke the mirror out of my bathroom because I couldn't look at my face. <laughs> Because the mirror reminded me, every time I had a mirror, I was putting something on it to put it in my face. Hated myself, man. Hated myself. Didn't have any money. Had all this potential. Overdosing daily. Guys, want man, you want to change? You got a bunch of potential? Tell, you, tell yourself the truth. Okay? Do you have more potential than you're using? Ask yourself right now. Just ask yourself. Just meditate on this a second. Do I have more potential than I'm using? Do you guys should ask yourself that every morning when you wake up. Man, what do you say to yourself in the morning? First thing I do in the morning, I wake up and say, do I have more potential? Thank you, Alex. Do I have more potential than I'm using? Dude, if I do, if it's even this much, then I got to get the f up and go get it. This is where God lives. Dude, this is the spiritual part of life, is the seeking of potential, not the seeking of, uh, of serenity and happiness. Serenity and happiness are f***ing selfish commodities. It's about me, man. For me to seek my potential, the next level, means I got to give up what I have. That's where God lives, man. God's proud of Grant Cardone. You know what? A bunch of humans don't like Grant. God loves Grant. Yo. You know what? Because God's like, dude, that guy, he will put it out there. 
You guys are all praying. You know what my prayer is? My prayer is not talking to God. My Dude. prayer is taking action. If you want to know how Sarah Blakely manifests her ideas, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.